Hey everyone, welcome to Encore, and today I'm going to show you how you can revive your dried out gel liners, so keep watching. Hey everyone, it's Corin, and you're watching Encore Makeup. Blend, blend, blend. Hi Corin, stop using my lipstick. Hey everyone, welcome back. So I know many of you guys experienced this in the past, especially for those of you guys who use gel liners or gel-based liners like MAC Fluid Line, or if you have Stila Smudge Pots, or Aqua Creams, all kinds of different gel liners, and uh, you experience uh, drying. Because what happens is that most gel liners are suspended in a gel-based formula, and that gel-based formula basically dries out especially if the packaging or the container is not airtight, it's going to dry up on you. Now, I personally don't experience much uh, drying out of my gel-based products because, like I've said before and I've said many times, make a habit of scooping some of your gel liners and putting it on a sample jar much like this one, so that way the main jar of your gel liner is not prone to air exposure because depends on how often you open the jar and use it and then close it and sometimes you forget you know you leave it out in your counter or in your vanity and it's exposed to air and it's going to dry out so make a habit of just scooping a little bit of an uh, amount and uh, putting it into a sample jar and then use from that and then if you need some more then refill it later on so that way your main jar is not prone to drying out from uh, air exposure. So always, always, always make sure to have an empty jar. You can use any, you know, empty jar like Carmex jars or, you know, if you have like, um, you know, a, like a mic jar or like a mineral eyeshadow you don't like, empty it out, wash it off, then use the jar and, uh, you know, transfer some of your gel liners into that so that way you're using from that jar. Now, for this demonstration, I actually just recently acquired this gel liners from Sumita, Sumita Beauty, all right, and I love the color because it's uh, like one of those kind of like forest green, but when I opened it, I'm going to show you guys, it's dried out, so it comes with a little applicator, but the gel itself is dry out, or the gel liner itself is dried out, so... It's not even open yet, okay, but as you can see, it's shrunk and it's dried out and there's a crack in there and you can't even like, you know, it's really hard, you can't even get color from it, see. So I'm going to show you how to revive this and for this it's really, really easy. You're going to need two things. You're going to need a mixing medium, uh, which is the glycerin base, okay. Uh, water base with glycerin. I have a uh, homemade version of it in one of my videos, so definitely check that out. Or you can also get the uh, glycerin spray. This is a little bit more of a gel base, okay, as opposed to a water base. And this is from MAC. And you're also going to need something with uh, kind of like a silicone dimethicone because that's what the gel base formulation is, uh, the key ingredients for you know, gel-based formulation. So for that, it's really easy. Any face primer that's clear is going to have a dimethicone and cyclomethicone. So any clear um, foundation primer, like this one's from Smashbox, which is one of my favorite. You can also get clear for primer from like Cover FX, Face Atelier. Um, gosh, Make It Forever, the HD primer, they're clear and they usually have silicones in it. So again, for those of you guys who are not aware, okay, gel liners have silicones in it. So if you're sensitive or allergic to silicones and you don't know why you're reacting to your gel liner, it's probably because of the silicones. Uh, for instance, the Sumita one I got, it's very, very basic ingredient, okay, it's right here. And it's basically um, dimethicone, uh, carnauba wax, and colorants, simple and very basics. So that's the first thing you're going to need to look into is look at the ingredients of your gel liner and really the two things that you need to keep an eye on are the silicone, so of course, and also if it has wax in it, which most gel, gel liners are going to bound to have waxes in it because that's how it forms into a solid cream. 
in these pots, all right? So it's going to have some form of wax in it. Okay, so if it does have both wax and silicones, then this method is going to work for it. So that's all you need to look at. Just check the ingredient on your uh, gel liner product and make sure it has uh, silicone and um, wax. Yeah. Now you're also going to need a microwave oven, but for those of you guys who's probably like a college dorms or something, you don't have a microwave oven, don't stress out because I'm going to show you how to use your hair dryer instead of microwave oven. So you can either use a microwave oven or if you have a hair dryer, this will work as well, which is what I'm going to demonstrate today. So what's going to happen is that we're going to basically, the wax doesn't evaporate. Okay, so the wax is still here. That's why you get the solid kind of leftover in there. But the problem is like all that silicones evaporated. So that's what we're going to put back in. And then the glycerin is a humectant. So it's going to keep the moisture in for quite a while. So we're going to try to revive this gel liner that's dried out. And um, let's begin. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're basically going to emulsify the dried up gel liner. So you can see here my Sumita is like really, really dry. And you can tell that there's wax in it because it's, uh, it's in a solid form, but it's dry. So all the, um, all the liquid elements of it has evaporated. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a quarter teaspoon, measuring teaspoon right here. It's a quarter of a teaspoon. And we're going to basically just mix an equal parts of our glycerin mixing medium. Now again, you can use um, your uh, homemade mixing medium, water base, or you can invest on one of these uh, gel based glycerin spray. All right, so there's about half of that is our glycerin mixture. And then I'm going to add my face primer right here, which is my Smashbox. Once again, any clear face primer will work as long as it's got silicones in it. So you need uh, cyclomethicone and dimethicone. And we're just going to fill the rest of that. Okay. And then we're going to mix that. So we're just going to stir to make sure that it's folded together. All right. And that's what's going to basically put the um, liquids back into our dried up gel. All right. So just fold, mix. All right. What you want to do now is that you have your dried up gel and you just kind of want to, see it's really hard. It's very, very, very hard. So you just kind of want to break that. Okay. So that way it'll be easier to mix. So we're just going to, it's really, really dry here. Okay, it's very, very waxy. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to add our silicone and glycerin mixture. Just a quarter of a teaspoon. Make sure in that. Okay. And then we're going to mix that right into our gel liner. Okay, and that's going to put the uh, liquids back into the liner. Okay, and just make sure that it's just evenly distributed throughout the uh, dried up gel liner. Okay, so once you re-moisten the uh, dried up particles, it should uh, glisten up a little bit like that, but it's still kind of like uh, crumbly. All right, and next step is you're going to need to reheat this. Now you can do two different methods. You can do a microwave method wherein you put this into a microwave for 20 seconds, okay? Just keep an eye on it, just enough for it to melt. You don't want to bring this to a boil, okay? You just want the waxes to melt, okay? And then um, if 20 seconds is not enough, just add another 20 seconds, but keep an eye on it, making sure it's not boiling all right that it just melts into a liquid all right so the wax just melts and it mixes nicely with the uh silicone and uh, glycerin mixture that we added to it all right but for those of you who doesn't have microwave ovens that's what i'm going to demonstrate today is just using a hair dryer so with the hair dryer 
course you want to protect your surfaces. Alright, so we're just going to put that in there. And then with the hair dryer, we're just going to basically just heat this up until it melts, okay? So you can see it's starting to melt. So you can achieve this with a hair dryer. It just takes a lot longer than putting it in a microwave. But of course, a lot of you doesn't have microwave. If you're in college, uh, dorm, or anything like that, you can use a um, hair dryer. Okay, and then you just want to give it a little bit of a stir once it's softened up a little bit just to uh, re-emulsify it, okay? And then you're going to need to continue on with your hair dryer or your microwave. And then once again, just going to mix. Be careful, it can get really, really warm. So you don't want to burn yourself. Okay, so that looks really, really good. Look at that texture. It's back to like that beautiful gel-based texture. Okay, so what we're going to do at this point is we're just going to tap this. so that it compacts. Okay, there you go. And then we're just going to let that cool to room temperature. Okay, so now it's cooled down to room temperature. As you can see, it doesn't look hard like it used to be. It looks more like a gel liner once again. So we're just going to put this in a test with my angled liner brush. So the texture is really nice. It's where it should be. All right, feel of it. So it's nice and soft, not hard, all right? And then we're going to swatch this right at the back of my hand, if I can fit in my camera, so you can see. And there you go. So you got your beautiful gel liner back to life, all right? And it's gorgeous green, and I hate to waste this, but that's why I wanted to revive it, because it's a gorgeous color. And when it dries up again, all you need to do is repeat the same process. And hopefully this is going to help you guys out there who's experiencing uh, drying on your uh, gel liners. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.